Hey, Wang. Good morning. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Dottie. more. This is going to be a quick meeting unless somebody has updates for this week. All right, we are at five after. We don't have any agenda on the books right now. Does anybody have any updates they want to discuss? Should I do a mic check to make sure mic's working? Yeah, so so we were discussing about the slash v2 ping, right? So uh, what's the progress on that? 
I think from my understanding, or my previous recollection, we're just documenting that that is what happens within the existing Moby client and a lot of clients that copy that. It doesn't necessarily need to be something we're recommending, but we're just acknowledging that it exists. Does that align with other people's expectations or do you have other questions on that, Ron? No, I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm um, so that's, that was just a start stick, but I think um, I think the long-term plan is to uh, move away from the V2 thing so that we do the data and see uh, properly. That, uh, that's, that's my expectation. So. Yeah, my own goal is I'd like to see us leverage HTTP, RFC, specs, whatever, upstream as best we can. And so the less of the kind of logic that we went through, the better. But I think that it would be useful for us to document it in such a way that we say that registries to allow clients to just follow the HTTP specs should implement it in a certain way so that they don't break existing Moby clients or other old clients. And so the implications of that is they'll probably still respond to a V2 ping if a client pings them on the V2 interface, and they'll still generate an HTTP auth or a www auth header that would look similar to what a client would have expected if they were doing their existing manual generation of stuff on the client side. That gives you the portability for both directions so that new clients that are following the HTTP specs where you can get the same response back from old clients that were doing stuff locally. I, I think the interesting thing, the, the V2 team, I mean, yeah, it, it's not auth related. It's a, sort of a weird hack that, yeah, we don't want to recommend, but that endpoint is purely already part of the distribution spec. And, and so like, Anyone that adheres to the distribution spec is already going to have to have it. So where do you draw the line between what's auth and what's distribution in that respect? Because th that endpoint is going to have to exist. Um, Auth-wise, the recommendation would be to don't use that as part of auth, but it, it will be there. So we don't necessarily need to include it, or, or how, how do we handle that? So, uh, yeah, at least... Uh... It is useful to keep it around for something like a Kubernetes health check, right, or liveness or health check, right. So uh, at least uh, that it is useful in that sense, but nothing more than that is my expectation. Yeah, definitely useful as a health check. It's useful for older clients that are querying it. My vision going forward is that a client wouldn't necessarily need to query the V2. API, they can just go directly to a manifest pool or something like that. Yep. Does that align with what you're thinking about, Jeff? Because I know that you were pushing back a lot while we were documenting the Moby specs. No, I mean, I think that does align. Uh, as I said, um, the Docker engine, as it switched over to container D, is, is no longer doing it. So it's the the reg client within Moby um, that was doing the VP ping, V2 ping that people were copying. It's not done by the container D client um, that, that's doing it. And so internally, yes, uh, we're moving away from doing it. It's, I would say, fundamentally broken in many ways inside of Moby. And so the recommendation would be to not do it that way. So but yes, I do agree. It's nice to at least call it out in documentation that yes, it happens. Maybe worth adding. The, the, yes, it's happening. This is why it's doing it. Um, and then yeah, hopefully moving forward, we can say, don't do this, please. Yeah, I think it'll help if we get several others in here. I know we're all still in progress since nobody has jumped up and said they've got their uh, implementation documented so far. So once we get some of the stuff like container D or S and reg client all documented to say, here are other implementations, I think that'll help settle that 
you know, we, we documented Moby, we documented a bunch of other things. Now it's our opportunity to say, looking at all of those, uh, how everything is working today, let's start looking at how we want to do the 2B solution. Anything more on that or any other agenda items people want to talk about today? All right. I'm hearing a whole lot of silence here. So I'm guessing everybody wants back uh, 50 minutes of your day. So how about we go ahead and call this one early? give folks some time back to deal with all the other fires they're dealing with and hopefully knock out some of these documents whenever we get a chance here. Sound like a plan? Thanks, Brandon. See you, folks. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. See you.